guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today I'm going to be sharing five underrated skincare products from five different drugstore brands. I actually made two videos just like this about a year ago, I think like last summer-ish, and I had planned for this to be a recurring series on my channel, but I think I just forgot about it in the mix of my other drugstore related videos. So one year later, we are back. So if you would like to hear about five different skincare products that I think deserve more hype that also will not break the bank, you've come to the right spot and let's jump on into it. Let's just start off with a product that inspired me to kickstart this series again. It is the Cetaphil Cracked Skin Repair Balm. This is something that I'm a little bit confused by because on Cetaphil's website, it says that it's a new product or at least at the time of me filming this video it does and that would definitely explain why I haven't heard anything about it but at the same time I swear I've seen this sitting on the shelf for months at the drugstore at this point I don't know if I'm making that up so I'm not really sure exactly how new this product is but newish we'll go with that so this is a protective balm that is designed to soothe and hydrate dry rough skin as well as repair deeper cracks the active ingredient listed on the back of the label is one percent dimethicone which is a silicone that's used in so many moisturizers and it's been heavily scrutinized in both skincare and hair care but primarily due to misinformation there is a reason why dimethicone is in basically every beauty product ever dimethicone is not only an ingredient that helps to improve the feel of a product Product. It kind of gives it more glide so that it applies to the skin nicely, but it's also something that is considered to be a skin protectant. So it softens, moisturizes, and conditions the skin. So just in case any of you were feeling skeptical or wary about that ingredient being the highlighted active ingredient here, don't be weird team silicone on this channel. And then in addition to dimethicone, the other ingredients worth highlighting are shea oil, glycerin, and beta-glucan. So nothing really that groundbreaking in terms of ingredients. We have some nice conditioning and hydrating ingredients, but the real reason why I wanted to include this in this video is because of the way that the product feels. It is so nice. I wish there was some way for me to put this through the camera so that you guys could feel it for yourselves because it really does feel incredible. It's so, so silky and smooth and it just has this incredible glide. But at the same time, it's not so like slippery and slidey that it doesn't really feel like it's doing anything for your skin. It's the perfect balance of being really silky and moisturizing at the same time. And something that's really nice about this product compared to other protective balms and ointments is that it fully dries down on the skin and it doesn't leave you with any sort of a greasy or shiny finish like others might. So you guys know that I'm a huge fan of the CeraVe healing ointment, but that is definitely a product that looks greasy on the skin. It doesn't fully dry down and it's thick, so it's not for everybody. I love using it at night, but I know not everyone does. And it's definitely not something that I would ever wear during the day if I planned to be out in public. So if you're somebody that has tried slugging with a really thick ointment, whether that is from CeraVe or Vaseline or Aquaphor, and you just can't get behind the texture of it, you don't like sleeping with it on your pillowcase, and you want a lighter weight option, this is definitely something worth looking into because it's lighter weight and it's more comfortable to wear. Or it's something that you could just wear during the day like I do. So if I happen to have any areas of skin, that are looking a little bit flaky or dehydrated. This is something that I like to wear on top of moisturizer and something that I've actually been doing with this is slugging around my eyes during the day. If I'm not planning to wear makeup, which is most of the days during the week, I will take a little bit of this and apply it around my eyes on top of my eye cream to just really lock in that moisture. And again, I don't have to worry about this looking really shiny and greasy. I can go about my day, I can go out in public it is great. So definitely check out the Cetaphil Cracked Skin Repair Balm if you have been looking for a lighter weight alternative for slugging. Next up is a moisturizer from La Roche-Posay called the Tolerane Ultra Night Soothing Repair Moisturizer. It was created to hydrate and comfort the skin at night to make the skin smooth, soft, and comfortable in the morning. I want comfortable skin. Okay, standout ingredients in this include squalane, shea butter, niacinamide, vitamin E, neurosinine, elantoin, carnosine, and La Roche-Posay's thermal spring water. So some really, really nice calming, protecting, and soothing ingredients in this, but again, the main reason why I wanted to include it in this video 
is because of the texture. It's a lightweight cream that feels really soft and hydrating and moisturizing, but it also fully dries down. So it's not one of those creams that you can feel sitting on the skin, which is why I'm a little bit confused about this being emphasized as a night cream. I feel like anything that's labeled night cream tends to be really, really thick and creamy and something that you can feel on the skin. This is not like that for me. I actually really enjoy wearing this during the day as well. It gives me a little bit of a glow, but again, it dries down and it pairs really well with a moisturizing sunscreen on top. So if you're super oily, you probably wouldn't love it during the day. This would be a really nice nighttime option for you. But if you have dry skin and you're looking for something that's intensely moisturizing, but has a little bit of a lighter weight texture for the day, this is perfect. Also, if you have a man in your life who refuses to try skincare, I feel like something like this would be a really nice first attempt because this just has kind of like a masculine look to it with that blue, but it feels like heaven. So any guy that is against skincare will not be after he tries this. Next up is the Bliss Mighty Biome Deep Cleansing Balm, which was designed to melt into the skin to dissolve makeup, sunscreen, and impurities while hydrating and restoring the skin's delicate balance for a soft glowing finish. This contains so many nice softening ingredients as well as ingredients that are really beneficial for the health of the skin barrier, including things like castor oil, panthenol, beta-glucan, pre and post-biotics, squalane, ceramides, and beta carotene. And there are a lot of drugstore cleansing balms that I really enjoy. So I was trying to figure out what it is about this one that draws me in. And I think I figured it out. I feel like this just has more of like a dense buttery feel. So I literally swatched this out on my hand like it was makeup next to the e.l.f. and CeraVe cleansing balms. And I feel like you can really see the difference there. The e.l.f. and CeraVe options are more like whipped or lighter weight. I don't know. It's kind of hard to describe, but this one from Bliss, again, it's just more like dense and buttery and delicious. So in saying that, I don't think that you'll love this if you have super oily skin, but if you have dry skin, dehydrated skin, barrier damage, flakes, irritation, serious sensitivity, then this is definitely something worth checking out, especially as we enter into colder weather months. I don't really know what it is about the makeup removal process that tends to be what triggers irritation for me. But as somebody with sensitive skin, this is something that I can always rely on because it never causes irritation. It never makes existing irritation worse. It's just one of those products that's so nourishing, it couldn't possibly irritate my skin. I did read through some reviews on this product where people felt like this left residue on their skin. I feel like I experienced that with pretty much any cleansing balm or oil cleanser. So that is why I always remove them with a microfiber towel. You guys have heard me talk about that a lot before, but I will apply the balm work it up in my makeup and then just swipe everything away with that towel and then I never have residue. So that is a tip I would give if you are experiencing that with this product or any other makeup removal product. And the last thing I'll mention about this is the final reason why I wanted to include this in this video and it is that one, this packaging is completely recyclable and two, Bliss is a cruelty-free brand. So I really wanna commend Bliss for both of those things. I definitely want to talk more about brands that are taking steps to reduce their carbon footprint given the state of the climate and that are also completely cruelty-free and vegan. But I will be totally honest, I definitely need to do quite a bit of research on both of those topics. They're topics that intimidate me because I know that there are marketing loopholes that brands will use to try to get around them. And front is if they're environmentally friendly or cruelty-free when in fact they're actually not. So I never have wanted to talk about products in that way or talk about brands in that way if it ended up not actually being true. So I feel like I have a lot of research to do before I can make more videos like that. But if you would like to see that, I'm totally down. And if you happen to be somebody that is really passionate about either of those topics and happens to know of sources that are reliable and factual that we can look into to find information like that about brands, let us know in the comments below. I, of course, will do my own research as always, but that would be really helpful. But if you're somebody that is more into cleansing oils than cleansing balms, then I had to give a shout out to the Neutrogena Fragrance-Free Body Oil. I swear that's what this is. The label just kind of melted off. 
from the steam from my shower. This is not a new product to this channel. I have definitely shown this in several empties videos before, but I've never talked about it in a video like this. And I wanted to because I can't stop rebuying it. This bottle is really nice and big, especially compared to other cleansing oils. So you get 8.5 ounces of product in this for $9.95 compared to other brands, which typically have bottles that are like four to five ounces big and cost 20 to $40. I mean, come on. It is a super basic product in terms of ingredients. It has a couple standard emollients, including sesame oil, but it's also fragrance-free. It never irritates my skin. It doesn't feel greasy and it gets the job done. I feel like the real reason why this is so underrated is because it's not marketed as a cleansing oil. It's marketed as a body oil. And I think a lot of us have a fear of using body products on the face, but in a lot of situations, there's no reason why we can't do that and there are a lot of body products that work just as well on our face including this exhibit a so if you are not down to splurge on a makeup removal product i totally get it this one goes out to you and also goes out to my mom because she's the one who put me on this a couple of years ago thanks mom and last but certainly not least is not necessarily one product in particular i will highlight one product just for the sake of this video but it's really an entire brand and that brand is peach slice if you're not familiar with Peach Slices, it's a brand that of course you can buy online, but you can also pick up in stores in Ulta and it's an affordable brand with some incredible products. When I put on my marketing hat and take a look at this brand, I feel like one of the biggest reasons why this is not as hyped up as I feel like it should be given the price point and quality of the products is because of the way that this is presented in stores. When I first discovered this brand, it was almost like shoved back into what I would consider to be kind of like the kid skincare section at Ulta. I know that there's not actually a kid skincare section, but there's definitely an area that when you walk by, you will notice has youthful looking brands and youthful looking products. And this happens to be one of those brands. They do have really, really cute youthful packaging. And I think because of that, it was put back in that area. And when I look at brands like that on the shelf, especially all next to one another, I usually walk right by. I'm like, eh, probably not gonna see results with products like that. But this is a perfect example of not judging a book by its cover because that could not be further from the truth with peach slices. They have some incredible products with amazing ingredients and amazing formulations. So the product that I will be highlighting today is their acne exfoliating toner. I did talk about this one other time in a video where I talked about skincare dupes and I talked about this as a dupe for the Paula's Choice BHA liquid exfoliant. I actually think that this one is better. It also has 2% salicylic acid, just like Paula's Choice. But on top of that, it also has lactic acid and glycolic acid, arginine, elantuin, cucumber, centella asiatica. So some really, really nice ingredients to hydrate and soothe in addition to those exfoliants. So I think that this product, again, is just as good, if not better than Paula's Choice and it's only $10.99. But when I look on Ulta's website, it only has 75 reviews. So I'm like, come on people, give Peach Slices a chance. They seriously have so many great products. I did just talk about a new line that they launched in my last What's New at the Drugstore video. So I will list that video below along with all of my favorites from Peach Slices because there are a lot of favorites. They have a redness relief line, a snail mucin line. This is part of their like acne targeted line. So many good affordable finds. Peach Slices deserves more hype. All right, you guys, we are going to wrap up this video here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Have you tried any of these products? Do you agree that they deserve more hype? Are you going to test any out after watching this video? If so, as always, check out my description box below because all of these products will be listed and linked in order of mention, so it's easy for you to find, along with anything else you might need from me, my social media handles, links to other favorite beauty products, discount codes, it's and you guys know the drill. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for watching my videos. I love the freaking heck out of y'all. Make sure to stay tuned for my next one because it will be up in a few days. But until then, I hope you have a great few days. Ooh.